another edition of Dave's Record Review. I am once again out here in downtown Philadelphia in rainy, rainy Philadelphia, may I add, with my good friend and buddy and co-worker, Todd Zorman. Hey, Todd, thanks for coming on the show. Dave, anything for you. I really appreciate it. I know you're a busy guy working inside, <laughs> but you came out yep. just for the show on Dave's Record Review. Now, Todd, I know a lot about you, Todd. Um, <laughs> you love to drink Guinness beer. Love it. Love All right. It. Uh, you like to attend or go to an establishment called JT Bankers. That is correct. All right, now where is JT Bankers located? In the lovely Sellersville, Pennsylvania. Sellersville, Sellersville Pennsylvania, JT Bankers. We're going to give them a shout out. Yep. Please, ev everybody, <laughs> for happy hour, a good yeah. Guinness. You go to yeah. JT Bankers, that's where Todd likes to go. Now, Todd, you also go to a place called Posh. <laughs> yes, now, I what do. is Posh? Posh Hair Design in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Okay, so you go to Doylestown yeah. to get a posh haircut. I do, I okay. do. Okay. I do. A little bit of a travel, but well worth the uh, travel for a haircut. Now listen, if I had more hair, I would definitely go to <laughs> Posh Haircut. Okay, but I go to my local hair cuttery, take some two minutes, and um, I go on my merry way. Uh, Todd, you also uh, very admirable of you. You teach students. You, you're a teacher. I do. And you help them achieve their GED. Yes. Yep. Through Bucks County Community College, the Workforce Development Program. Yep. Okay. That is fantastic. All right, Todd. The real reason that you're here is I'm okay. going to ask you a question. Gotcha. Who is your favorite rock group of all time? It doesn't have to be rock. It be blues. Yeah. R and B. But who is your favorite musical artist? today and of all time. So, you know, Dave, uh, probably the most influential band in my life or as far as getting me into music and, and enjoying music would be the Cars. The Cars! Now, the, I love the Cars. I love the Cars. And you really don't hear people saying the Cars are their favorite band. Usually you're the Stones or the oh, Beatles yeah. or oh, Pink yeah. Floyd. But the Cars, it's good to know that somebody out there <laughs> loves the Cars or Cheap Trick. Oh, those are bands I'm looking for, and today I found it. Now, Ty, yeah. um, what is one of your favorite? Okay, so the Cars have a number of albums. Oh, yes. Now, what would you say is the Cars' greatest album? Oh, well, Dave, you know, it's funny you should ask because I happen to have the Cars albums right here with me, and this would be my favorite Cars album, right here on top of the stack this of is, four. This is unbelievable. So do you walk, you love the Cars so much that you walk around with Cars albums? Oh, absolutely, Dave. Whenever I'm out and about in Center City, I just walk around with my Cars co album collection. <laughs> All right, well, the car. this is the Cars debut album. It now, is. Now, I know a lot about the Cars, because uh, I love the Cars myself. The Cars actually formed in Boston in 1976, and they were signed to Arista Records in 1979. And their debut album came out here. Now, Todd, I don't know if you agree with me, but this has got to be one of the greatest debut albums. I don't think it's a stretch to say this is one of the greatest debut albums of all time. I totally agree with you. When you go down the playlist on the back, I mean, it's one hit after another as far as I'm concerned. It's like a greatest hits album. Um, and it was their first album, so go figure, right? Their first album, just absolutely unbelievable. Um, now, let's describe the Cars music. Now, I, I think... I would say that the cars came out in like 78, 79, that yep, era. Yep. And they came out of the new wave era, like the Talking Heads and Blondie. And, yes, yes. And the Ramones and yep. all that great and all that great new wave music. But I would say the new wave era was kind of ending. Like yeah. we had Blondie, had Elvis Costello also. We were had I think this is a combination of Power pop and meets new wave. You got it. I think that's well said. I mean, okay. perfectly. That's how I look at it too. Yeah, 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 they were just transitioning from that late '70s new wave kind of feel into that kind of power pop the '80s, some alternative. So yeah, I think you, you described it perfect. Yes. Now, what are your favorite? Some of your favorite songs on? Here? Oh my gosh, "Moving in Stereo" comes right to mind right off the bat. "Moving in Stereo." Now yeah. that's the last song on the second side of the album. Why "Moving in Stereo"? What what moves you to like "Moving in Stereo"? Well, Dave, it's funny you should bring that up because uh, honestly, as a as a kid of the '80s, I think back to "Fast Times at Ridgemont High." I think great, great movie. <laughs> yeah, it's all two thumbs up. Uh -huh. I think of that Phoebe Cates uh, pool scene with "Moving in Stereo" in the background. Hooked. I was hooked right there. If you're a teenager, if you were a teenager in the 80s, 
you knew the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Every teenager saw that movie and every teenager knows the famous scene with Phoebe Cates coming out of the pool with the song, the car song, moving in stereo, playing, okay? I've actually seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High five times, okay? I love that movie and I bought it on DVD. I <laughs> yep. bought it on Blu-ray. I had it on VHS when it first came oh, out. Yeah, Great movie. So if you don't know the movie, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, you must see it. It stars Sean Penn as Jeff Spicoli. We got Phoebe <laughs> Cates. We got Jeff Reinhold. Uh, it's a who's who of people uh, on Fast Times. So check that out. And also get the cars first album if you haven't seen the greatest hits. Now look, go ahead, Todd. I'm sorry. No, no. I was just gonna say. I mean, you, you named it. You named some of the big, uh, the big uh, folks in that movie. And again, mm -hmm. so I think of often, you know, what kind of formed my uh, my love of music. And I think it was that combination of movies and music. And so again, like I said, this one comes to mind right off the bat. So yeah. fantastic, fantastic. Now, Todd, uh, I see you got a couple other cars out there. Let's. Uh, Let's see what else you got here. So, I'm very yep, I have the uh, famous uh, Vargas cover, you know, the, the artist Vargas. Uh, so, we have this, obviously, this one. And again, this is one you see quite a bit. Big fan of this one, Let's Go. Uh, all I Can Do, It's All I Can Do, you know, so different songs from that one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hold on. Go, go right back. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry, you can't man, get enough of this album. Vargas. This is new information to me. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean, Vargas? Oh, so the artist is, is Vargas. Uh, he painted, I guess, a lot of this type of. Uh, Signed right here. Yep, yeah, down yeah. at the very bottom corner. Uh, I guess he did a lot, I almost want to say um, kind of pinup uh, type artist, uh, you know, like if you think of World War II bombers and they used to type, uh, used to paint like the pinup art, uh, the pinup girls on them. And so he did, he did a cover for the cars uh, like this. And so again, pretty iconic uh, cover as far as I think often gets mentioned in like the top 25 covers of all time. Yeah, I did not know this. This is why I love talking go. to people, interviewing people about music because I learned stuff too. So the Vargas cover, iconic cover, the name of this album folks is Candy Up. There you all go. Right, so great album, I love it. For a sophomore effort. Now, no one, nobody was gonna top the part first album, but this is an excellent, um, sophomore effort. Let's go, like you said. Yep. That's all I can do. Yep. Dangerous type. Dangerous type. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. can yeah. I forget? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's get to the next car. All right. Now. The next one we have here is Panorama. Panorama. Okay. So this was the car's third album. Uh, this was an underrated album. Uh, did not sell as well as the first two. Had a big single in Touch and Go. But this oh. album rocks. Yep. You crank it up. I love it. I think it's a great album, but it is very underrated. So check this out. Another great cover. Yep. And yeah. Dave, as you said, you know, it's not all about sales necessarily. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you think of music, often sometimes you can't really rank your favorite albums or your favorite songs by the number of sales or how much it's sold. So a lot of times you're right. For, for this album, again, didn't sell a ton, but again, really great, great work on their part. Great effort on their part. Very good point that you say. Very insightful because, hey, <laughs> album might have tanked on the charts, but could be one of the greatest albums yep. that you ever heard personally. That's right. All right, so let's continue on. Oh, uh, continuing oh. right on right here, Dave. All right, Coming so this, this is a return of form. What's the name of this album? Shake It Up. Yes. All right. With, obviously, what do we have here? A drink mixer, a shaker, and again, she's shaking it up all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fantastic. Well said there, Todd. Now, this album is a return to form. Even though the, even though Panorama was a great album, this is a return for uh, return to the charts for the cars. Uh, they stayed on the charts for a while with this one, featuring my all-time favorite oh, car song. I can't wait to hear this. Since You're Gone. Since You're Gone. Which is yep. the first track, not even a single, but I love it. It's the first song on this album. Followed by the title track, Shake It Up. What else we got here, Todd? Oh, you, oh my gosh. Victim of Love. Um, this Could Be Love. Think It Over Baby. Maybe Baby. Oh, you, you named it, Dave. This, this is Shake a, a fantastic album. Now, Todd, let's see what's next. Well, you know, we're coming right back to the beginning. And guess what? We're missing one in my collection. I couldn't find it. Heartbeat City. Heartbeat City. Now, I believe, and I have to check the chart right. numbers. That might have been the biggest most popular album of the car's history there you go. because it contained their biggest selling single okay and that was called drive oh yes drive yes. i and you actually hear that everywhere even today you hear it in the supermarkets you hear it in dennis office not to say that it's like a dennis office song <laughs> it's, it is a mellow song but it's such a beautiful great song sung by and we'll get to this later they're they got a couple lead singers but uh, they also have a song called Magic on Heartbeat City. Oh. And 
another incredibly huge song for the cars, You Might Think. You Might Think. Now, let, let, let me talk about You Might Think. In 1984, MTV had the first oh. music video I was awards. hoping you were going to bring this up. Okay. Now, the first best video of the year for 1984 went to the cars for You Might Think. Now, describe this video, You Might Think. Oh, my gosh. So, I think it back to MTV. And so, again, being a kid of the 80s, MTV was huge. Huge. And so, I, if I remember correctly... This is the one with Rick O'Casey where he turns into a fly. Yes. And kind of buzzes around the screen. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it sounds kind of um, almost antiquated now. But yeah. back then, the animation, the graphics, oh, it just, I, I was pulled in right right away. Best video of the year, you might think. Yep. So this basically covers the car's history. Uh, they actually had two lead singers who sadly have passed away. Yes. Uh, name those lead singers. That would Tom. be Rick Ocasek. Yes. And I hope I get, the, is it Benjamin Orr? Benjamin yeah. Orr, yes. Yep. They both have sadly passed away, uh, but uh, they were both incredible singers. Oh yeah. And uh, Drive was actually sung by, Rick Ocasek sang most of the most hits. Most of them, yeah. But ben Orr, they, he sang oh. Drive, like the biggest song. Yep. Uh, Just What I Needed and My Best Friend's Girl. I'm not really, there's, their voices, believe it or not, do sound a little similar. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to tell, but oh my God, what a great hour. They were just like, the cars were a hit-making machine. Yep. Uh, they were just pumping one hit after another. Yep. And uh, hey, guys, we covered the cars. We did. We covered the cars. This is this. So get yourself the cars. First day album, Candio, Panorama, uh, Shake It Up, and Heartbeat City. Check this stuff out. And also, a friendly reminder, you want to check out Jeff Spicoli played by Sean Penn. <laughs> you want to check out uh, Phoebe Cates in that famous yeah. pool scene while moving a stereo yeah, play. Must see. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. You check, <laughs> check it out on out. your own. YouTube it. Yeah, YouTube. Phoebe Cates coming out of the pool while moving a stereo. And also, what do we got? Jeff, Jeff Reinhold. Uh, Judge Reinhold. Judge Reinhold. I said yep, Jeff Reinhold. That's all right. Judge Reinhold. Yep. Thank you. Thank no, you, Todd. No problem. All right, Todd. Um, why don't you ask me? Because I always like to go oh out in the street. I always like to go out in the streets of Philadelphia and ask trivia questions. Todd, why don't you try to get me to answer a trivia question in closing? All right, Dave. Uh, so, could it be a trivia question on anything, or do you want it to be music related? Let's, uh, uh, let's keep to the theme of Dave's record review. Let's keep all right, it. And ask okay. me a music trivia all question, right. Dave. Oh, I, okay. Oh, so a music trivia question. So. Would it be a music trivia question just in general for you to try to get, or would it be something like we try to learn a little bit more about Dave Maybach? Like maybe, I was going to ask you initially, what was, Anything the, goes. what was the first concert you attended? Okay, excellent question. And okay. where? Okay, great question. Um, I saw Cheap Trip, oh. 1979. For the Dream Police tour. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to cover Cheap Trick in a future episode of Dave Trick. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see that one. First concert I ever saw was Cheap Trick with the Greg Kinn Band opening <laughs> up. That was at the Spectrum in Philly. And it just so happens, it's funny that you should quiz me on this or ask me this. I am seeing Cheap Trick this Saturday at the Tropicana in Atlantic City. That so was not a plant. That question was not a plant. Not a plant. This is unbelievable. And these guys have been touring since the mid 70s, all with the original members, except for the drummer, Bunny Carlos recently left, and it's Rick Nielsen, who's a guitar player in Cheap Trick. His son plays drums in place of Bunny Carlos. But you got Rick Nielsen, the charisma of Rick Nielsen. You got Robin Zander. You got uh, who? Tom Peterson, and Bunny Carlos left. But like I said, we got Rick Nielsen's son on drums. Zan Zander was a guitar player? Uh, Rick Nielsen. Rick Nielsen. All right, Rick so, you Nielsen. Know, it's funny you brought that up because um, I, every once in a while I flip around on TV, and if you've ever seen American Pickers uh -huh. on the History Channel, yeah, they actually visited him and went through some of his collection, some of his uh, rock memorabilia, and some of his music memorabilia, and they actually were able to buy a few different things from him. So it was really interesting to see what he had in tour cases that was still stocked away, you know, from, uh, I guess, a tour of Japan. Mm -hmm. He opened it up for the first time in years, and they were able to look at some of the different things, and then he actually sold a few things to them. So it was really interesting. So I'm sure you can look that up on YouTube. Yeah, check that I'm today, sure right? good, yeah. So uh, we, we are giving you a ton of information, <laughs> folks. Uh, thanks to Todd. I was You're just going to talk about the cars, but we've gotten to pay us up to Oh, my gosh. We got into American Pickers. Uh, what else? We talked about a little about cheap trick, and yeah, guys. Yeah. I just want to preview. Yeah, guys. I just want to thank you for tuning in to David's record review. I want to thank Todd Zarman 
because it is raining out here. <laughs> we're underneath this roof over here, but hey, it's a miserable rainy day here in Philadelphia, and we're talking about the cars. So folks, Todd, I want to thank you. Todd, anything hey. you want to say to our audience? Again, big thanks to Dave, folks. If you, if you want to know more about music, you want to learn a little bit about music, the history, some of the interesting things about music, tune into Dave's YouTube channel. All right, subscribe, yes. share, yes. and like. Tell all your friends. Hey, I'm trying to get this channel off the ground. I hope yep. you like what you see. This is Todd Zartman, and this is your host, Dave Maybaum, signing out, Philadelphia. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.